Play Brain segment, Pat here. Today I'm joined by Adrian and Richard. Now, I want to introduce these guys, but uh, they're going to introduce themselves. Adrian, where are you from and what's your role? Yep, uh, Adrian uh, from Racetech, one of SunGrow's biggest distributors here in Australia. My role is CNI Director, so I mainly focus on the large scale battery products. And Richard, you're from SunGrow. <laughs> nice to meet you. So I'm Richard from SunGrow. I'm the CNI Solution Manager in the channel department. So I mainly do CNI project developments and following up the new project and following the chair. And I work closely with, with Adrian on projects. Yeah, fantastic. So obviously commercial is a big step towards decarbonization. And the question to you as a distributor, why did you choose SunGrow? What made you choose this brand and this technology? Yeah, I think, look, first of all, look, global leaders, yeah, really good at innovating. So they're always coming out with new products. They've been around, let's say, in Australia for 12 years. So when you talk warranties that last 10 years, is that company going to be around for 10 years? Well, already here for 12 years globally over the 25 mark. So really no brainer. And what do you think stands out for SunGrow, Richard? What's yeah. the reason so, distributors come to you? Yeah, so first is the product development. So we not only make solar, but we also make a battery and also the EV charger there, right? So, you know, the system needs to be talked to each other. Otherwise, you bring a bunch of like a different devices, each of them working individually really well. But when they talk to together, talk to the same connection point, they clash with each other. This is a common issue in the market. But because we make everything, we can integrate them. Yeah. And also we can empower our distributor to be one-stop shop, right? So the customer can buy all the solutions together. And the other thing is about the maintenance. So we have the largest technical supporting team in Australia. Whatever you got a problem there, you can reach us at any time. So it's not only about the years of experience, but I just checked we have more than 400,000 systems wow. still alive in Australia over the last 12 years now. So this is what I've learned is that Sungur has a pretty massive ecosystem combining commercial technology down to residential. And so what is the what's the next few years going to bring? Because in Australia, SunGrow has turned 12 years now. So this is a pretty big milestone. What's what's your view of where SunGrow is going? And I'd love to get that same question, yeah. you know, question from you, but Richard. Yeah, so um, from a commercial perspective, so we already get a really large market share in the PV and also Australian PV market is really big. And now come to the second step is the our grade, the DSP said that you guys need to have the battery, less input. So because the cheap home battery where it gets a big market in residential, but a commercial battery is just the start. Right. So that's why this year we announced this hybrid 110 and with the, the stackable 50 kilowatts module. Why we're doing that is because we know the pain point of the market. Because the normal AC coupled battery is actually adding more burden to the grid. It's, it's going to be very hard to, for those governors to take your books. But because we make it in a DC couple, it's invisible to the grid. So because it's kind of like a dilemma, sure. right? The grid wants you to get a battery, but they don't want the battery power to be visible to the grid. So we make that in the hybrid. I think it is one of the key points to get a commercial battery. And also the other stuff is how can we integrate that with the commercial EV charging as already we have the, the, the charging scenario, right? So as soon as you get a Sunro Logger 1000 and bring them to the iSolar cloud, they can be controlled together. So you just send one command as a whole set strategy, how you want to do it, and we will talk to ourselves. So this is the one of the pain points in the CNN market is how can they work together. It's actually, I feel the commercial market, this kind of point is like five years behind the residential, right. but we are leading that trend. And from a distributor point of view? Yeah, look, I, I, even from my, you know, I've been in the industry for a decade, yeah, or over a decade. Let's go back six years or so, yeah, the biggest, like the big rooftop commercial systems were 100 kilowatts. Now we're talking megawatts. Mm. And now we're talking megawatt hours of storage. So, I mean, where's it going to go? Sky's the limit. But it's it's definitely an impressive time to be in this industry. And what's the what's the next big thing you're looking forward to that's going to be pivotal for Australia? What What is something that's going to happen in the industry that's going to like accelerate the game or change the game? What do you think that is, Ray? Yeah, I think the... Um, first is with the cheap home battery rebate, right? And now the government is also considering doing that in the commercial. Right, okay. Although I haven't yeah. affirmed yet, but I think it's on the way. And also our AEMO, which is the you know, government operator, saying like, say in the future, all the inverters need to be grid forming. Because the older inverters, they are grid following. You need to have a main grid and they follow the grid mm -hmm. and they just exporting everything they, they are doing. But the grid is not happy. Because if the demand and the peak doesn't make, then you get an outage. 
So in the future, they want all the inverters to be grid forming. We can adjust the power based on the frequency of the grid. Right. And also if the grid is down, we can support the grid on that. So Sangro is one of the very small, like a few brands leading this, this trend across from our residential upward to the utility. Yeah. Yeah, Adrian, yeah. yeah, look, I kind of agree. I think right now we're seeing battery storage is, in terms of residential, there's more demand for what we can supply the market. But even in the commercial segment, like these new products, I think commercial storage is starting to take off now. Yeah. We're seeing a lot more of that with a lot more projects. And look, in, I think in the next five years, it's going to even get even bigger and bigger. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very awesome. much, Adrian. Hey, good to see you. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Have a great day. Um, and folks, if you want to learn more about SunGrow's commercial offerings, check the links below. We'll put them there. Thank you very much, SunGrow, for inviting me to the booth and for you two gentlemen for spending the time with us. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.